right, here we go guys. Beginning the video now. I mean, what to say? We're following a guy to a square body right now. We're in Capel, Saskatchewan. I almost said Capel. About six hours after we yeah. left this Winnipeg. It's one o'clock. We've been going since, well, I got up at like 4.50 in the morning. Interesting thing about this journey. There's square bodies everywhere. We yeah. didn't have to go this far to find one. Yeah. Huh? We've been seeing them like <laughs> stacked up like cordwood all over the place around here. Everyone's been saying about going to the States, but I thought I'd just drive six hours west instead. So, But we've definitely seen a lot of cool trucks and things. Maybe on the way back we can slow down or pretty something hilly here or stop. The yeah, it's actually pretty impressive, the uh, landscape around here and the fact that it's turning that many RPMs. So we're going to look at this truck and actually there was another truck I planned to buy why I figured out this whole day and the trailer and doing this is because of another truck in Regina. We're about 20 minutes from Regina, probably a little more actually. So if this one doesn't work out, there's always that one. I don't want to go home with an empty trailer, but if I have to, I will. So next thing you see will be the truck and my face of excitement or severe disappointment. And there's one in Shiloh on the way back. Yeah. <laughs> Ford truck, I Ford wish truck, I no here. truck. There it is. The wow, yeah, it's not even. Oh, it's pulled right out. It's supposed to the yellow one or coming yeah. out. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah, this is the one that looks First better. look, guys. Dun, 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 dun. Drive shafts in the back, ready to go. Initial impression is uh, yeah. I'm not pissed off I came oh, here. Shit. That's not that's that's you can see good. where it's been replaced the there, the box side, well. where it's yeah. chipping. Oh, yeah, it's got a box side uh, patch, but that's okay because yeah. you would have done it anyways. Exactly. Right? It's already done. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Less than my truck, yeah. Oh. That was a stretch my leg. Oh. Guys, I am beyond excited. This truck is amazing. I'm super happy we drove out here. <laughs> Prove Randy wrong. <laughs> well, that green truck might look like garbage. Well, that one's an hour further from here. It would be more work, like in terms of more panels to buy, but it would be just as easy to fix as this one's in better shape than that. Way better shape. Yeah. But not the same. But it doesn't run and drive. That one wasn't fixed. Yeah, that one ru runs and drives. Doesn't matter. He's I know. But an Ellis in runs and drives badly, he said. But Okay, but I'm saying like panels and stuff are cheap for these, so to get it and you know what I mean? It wouldn't be so bad. No okay, tailgate. We'll crank the wheel and we'll push it back. Uh, we'll check it out some more next time we stop, but. I'm stoked, guys. Just about to do the paperwork and give the guy his cash. All right, guys, we got it. You can see it in the mirror. You can see it back there. Square body. You can see it, you can see it everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> I'm thinking Old Yeller will be its name. It kind of just was something I was saying, and maybe we'll stick with that. And it's Yeller. And it's Yeller. And at some point, we might have to shoot it. <laughs> Put it down. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I am fucking stoked, though. This truck is like, was worth the drive. Yeah, it has body work like the guy admitted it did, but it's not really bad body work. It's just kind of old body work. And it doesn't seem like anything was done really quick to like hide shit. It was probably done by someone who cared back in the day. And then uh, the transmission exploded and it sat in a farmer's field. But now it's ours and you guys get to enjoy it with us. How are you excited? Woo! Excited. Very excited, <laughs> woohoo! This is me at maximum excitement, guys. Very excited. Maximum excitement. All right, so we'll probably pull over somewhere, get gas eventually or something, and we can take a little closer look Maybe at some things. Food, or something. food yeah, food too. Almost two. We're eight minutes ahead of schedule. Wait, we should let Mike and Clay pick the most expensive place to get food. That's yeah. what they've been doing all day today. <laughs> we have uh, chronic yeah, wasting nice disease. You said overall. <laughs> At least the cab isn't rusted out. Mike, just so keep looking back. It's very safety. safe that way. <laughs> yeah. There's nothing for you to do there. Well, suspension and, and brakes, which is easy and yeah. I can actually do in the winter, like, yeah. reasonably. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, you don't have to put... Because the box doesn't matter for safety. Like, yeah. in terms of getting it safety, you're really good. You're really ahead of the other ones because you don't have to do any body work to safety. To make it look nice, you do. But to safety, you don't. And like I said, it has newer front fenders, which is good. Preliminary uh, strap check here. Nothing yeah, settled in. That'd be a good idea. It looks like it has uh, had an antenna Jesus. on the roof, so now you'll have a hole in the roof, just like oh, your S15. Perfect. Yeah, no. Oh, it, it had a visor. Uh, no, no, like an antenna in the middle of the back of the roof. 
it has some sort of uh, CB radio thing. Okay, strap check. Right, because it's got a CB in it. Yeah. Well, breaker, Mike's breaker, one nine. Mike's going to check the straps. Oh, it's shut taking them with you. Mike, you got to check the straps. <laughs> check the straps. Come on, guys. Oh, this is becoming a really fun day. The uh, check engine light on the Silverado started turning on and flashing when we were like only an hour out of Winnipeg. And I was like, fuck me. Maybe this isn't meant to be. Maybe uh, I shouldn't just impulsively buy a truck. But uh, I was wrong. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta follow through. It is a little sketchy because it doesn't have a drive shaft and therefore no park. Also no brakes. But these straps seem tight. We're gonna hit the highway. Okay, you guys are live again. So how did the strap check go, Mike? They saw, they were with me. They were with them. Oh, okay. But yeah, just to recap, the other truck we were possibly gonna go get, like the last three days I've been making plans with this other guy to come pick it up. And then this guy emailed back after four days of not even emailing back and told me a price. And it's like the same price. And in my opinion, this truck, for all the reasons Rob was saying, it's what were those reasons wrong? So, uh, if you're watching this video, green truck guy, uh, we're sorry that Mike's <laughs> left you stranded so waiting just there. Stand all this day. other guy up, or are you yeah. gonna no. message him? Next, uh, yeah. next gas station, I'll text him. Let him know, yeah. But hey, that's the way it goes, right? Sometimes you buy a truck and sometimes you don't. Exactly. Sometimes you find a different one. Hey, sometimes you sell a truck and sometimes you don't. Yeah, exactly. You know, sometimes it, it works, at yeah. uh, 8 o'clock at night before you're gonna leave for. Uh, somewhere six hours away, the other guy messages back and you change everything. <laughs> but, it definitely worked out. The nicest square body in all of Saskatchewan. Other than those other ones we saw, they were nice. But possibly, nice is $800 possibly square not, body. Possibly, possibly not for sale. So, uh, who else out there is working on square bodies right now? Yeah. The uh, YouTube world. Post in the comments if you have a square body and if you're working on it. And also, what do you think Mike should do with this square body? What do you think he should do? fix it or demolition well, derby or clean it up try sell it for like 1500 bucks <laughs> make 400 dollars put a dual diff in it maybe if i find out there's a big crack in the frame i'll try to do that make it a six by six i didn't say that i would never do that <laughs> mike's friendly auto sale how's it uh how's it towing with that feels good i'm taking it really easy i'm a little scared but let's see how it does the hill here Easy with that 4L60. That's only half wrong. Although with drive-by wire. With drive-by wire, it's <laughs> probably 90% <laughs> of half. No, it honestly doesn't feel too bad. We'll see when we get to Grand Valley. Yeah. In Manitoba. Yeah, but at least there you're already going like 100. Go, I mean, it shouldn't be too Yeah, bad. going downhill, go 180. Yeah, now we're coming uphill. Up. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta try that. That's how the oh, semi trucks do it. Yeah. <laughs> they just fucking just give her going down. Okay, I'm gonna have to stop this video. Okay. Look at that camel towing is this way. Yeah, I saw that. Oh, yeah, camel towing. Hey. Yeah, yeah. Hey, look, straight ahead of the foxy lady. Left, and then another. Hey, Mike, how are the straps? You're on, you're on camera. Ah, uh, the front passenger was a little loose. Not loose, but. Tighten her up. Wasn't super tight, probably because. Uh, Is the bag straps letting go? No, because the tire's going flatter. Oh. oh. No. Great. So we'll just have to. You got duped on the tires. There's a oh, stinger in the Yeah, that's the it. Socks, the tires, like, the rear ones are winter tires, and they're. Brand new, but the oh look at that so Toyota pickup. Oh, there's a bunch of cool cars in there. Uh, but they're all cracked. Look at this. Oh. Look at this Chevette and another the... square body behind there. Look that Chevette's the pretty sweet. Chevette. Wood scoop on it. Cool little shop. That Chevette's really cool. That Cadillac's even cooler. <laughs> Town cars. It's a Lincoln. Lincoln. Oh, it's a Lincoln. Even yeah, better. Clean's whizzing it. He's gonna check the straps while he's holding his dick. Can, can you see him? Well, I just see his back. Lane, what are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? What's that noise? Did I get last night? Come on, you're gonna get carbon on my cock. <laughs> <laughs> carbon on your cock. Indian head. Look at that, show me the horror frost here. 
Lots of hoar frost. Well, Rob's wide awake. Mike's wide awake. What's this guy doing over here? We are in Moosamin, Manitoba now. Amazing, right guys? Beautiful. We're gonna try to get some food here. And we might not have much sunlight left today. Yeah, this is what Rob was talking about. Yeah, that needs a little fixing. Little fixing. You can see the lines here where the bodywork was done before. What do you want for 800 bucks, right? Lots of things on this truck look very solid and original though. And there's not a ton of dents, at least that I can notice yet. A little strap adjustment. So yeah, we're gonna eat. And then after this gas, we probably won't have to stop until we're close to Winnipeg again in Manitoba. Super stoked, guys. Super stoked. Thank you for suggesting this to me and telling me to forget about the Sonic Stang and get a square body and just enjoy it because I can already feel it. It's gonna feel so good. Thanks, guys. Back in the Winnipeg now. Woo! Excited. Yeah, the weather's terrible here. It's a blizzard here. We almost just died like twice. I uh, tried to change lanes on Forage Avenue and got a little sideways with the truck and trailer. Really, I just did it to scare these guys. It worked. It worked. <laughs> and then we were coming over a bridge, which is also really icy. Usually uh, Route 90, uh, just go the under before the underpass, going under Portage, you locals might know. Gets super icy and there's two cars stopped around a corner in one of the, in the inside lane that we're in. So I had to like panic stop and look beside me to see if I could change lanes and couldn't. And they were just retards apparently. They're just sitting there. They might hit each other, but both the cars still ran. I guess they just wanted to finish the job, but I spared their lives. Yeah. Yeah. Lives. So we're a little tired. Uh, we're going to unload this thing and we'll continue this video tomorrow in the daylight. I'll show you some finer details of the truck. And we're officially done after a long day starting at 4.55 in the morning. And I have a square box Chevy now. I know I only mentioned this to you guys like a week or two ago, but I really wanted one for a long time. It's not that impulsive of a buy. I mean, it really is, but that's kind of what I do. I used to do this a lot more, like, you know, buy random vehicles that everyone else would think they're junk and then flip them and make money. But it's been a while. I feel like I have to get back into it. I feel like you guys would enjoy it. Big thanks to Clayton for uh, allowing my impulsive retardedness and following me, coming with well, me. Yeah, yeah, all right. <laughs> and Rob too, obviously, and Randy. Everyone uh, Good times. helped, made it better. It was definitely a long day. Like I said, 4.55 and it's like 10 now at night. Trailers put away. I meant to tell you last week, my neighbor's got a mint 77. <laughs> just across the street. $799. <laughs> I'm done work, so it's time to start doing some useful things today. Uh, yeah. I think I'm gonna start with vacuuming out <laughs> the interior, because it's pretty dirty. I really haven't looked at this thing too much yet, guys. Because when we got back last night, it's dark. And all that. I didn't even do this before I bought it, which I probably should have. I could tell from underneath the floors are pretty good. Looks solid. Uh, what else? A little wood grain there. Apparently, uh, this is the original color. It's like uh, construction city work truck, yellow, orange. Uh, I don't know if trucks in the States are painted like that, but in Canada, like all the service vehicles are this color. Uh, so you can see in the door jams, it's still like that. But the, uh, I'm assuming farmer who owned it painted this uh, brighter yellow and this silver down here. Uh, there's actually a special edition, I think it was an 86 California, I'll post the picture here. I found it on Google last night. I wonder if he was trying to copy that paint scheme because it actually looks kind of similar. So, underneath... Uh... Yeah. Might not be the best time to do this because I don't know how much you guys are going to be able to see, but it is pretty clean underneath. That's really what got me excited. Once we uh, look at it, all the cab supports, body mounts look really nice. The frame actually looks really good on this truck, probably because 
it was a farm truck and was in the country on the highways away from the salt in the city. I don't know, maybe that's just what I like to think. Rally wheels, obviously. Try to find some beauty rings at the junkyard. What else? Probably could have secured the air cleaner before we drove away, because that kind of fell off. I haven't even looked at the carb yet, but the guys told me yesterday it was a two barrel. There it is. Look at that. So old school, guys. This truck is really <laughs> exciting to me. After working on so much LS stuff like this, so simple. And I assume lots of you guys also watch Roadkill and stuff like that, and they're always working on stuff like this, and it just looks like so much fun. Not that I never have before, but yeah, I am excited. Although it is very snowy and cold outside, so I'm just gonna try pick away at things I can do in the cold. So like not paint, which is why I was really stoked with this truck. The body wise is pretty solid. I mean, this is the worst side, the passenger side here. The driver's side here is actually in pretty good shape. You can see the door bottom here is original. They just kind of did a little hackery down there, but the rocker's good. And this box side, you can just barely see the replacement panel where it was. So I'm pretty excited. I keep saying that. I don't really act like I'm super excited, but this is my excited face. Never even checked how many kilometers this thing has on it. Wow, guys, only 26,487 original kilometers. <laughs> it's probably rolled over once or twice, obviously. Uh, kind of irrelevant, really. I like these uh, gauges, though, the way this whole cluster is. I like everything about this truck, and that's about all I can say about it right now. I'm gonna do some vacuuming. Show you guys the uh, finished product on the interior cleanup next episode. I really just want to uh, be able to sit in it and, you know, not be grossed out by having to get in and out of it. That will be the goal for tonight. There, installed. This hood is heavy as fuck. I really have to grease those hinges before I completely bend it in half. This side's pretty bad. This side's better, which kind of sucks. We can definitely do some like subscriber suggestion build ideas with this thing. I was kind of thinking like it has the 305 in it right now and a blown TH350. I'm going to replace the transmission before I even start trying to get it to run. I'm going to replace the tranny because the starter's already out. It's already kind of half taken apart. That'll be easy because there's tons of room under this thing. These trucks are awesome to work on, I'm told. And uh, the engine apparently runs, needs a tune up. So once the transmission is in there, I'll dick around with it, work some carburetor magic and get her running and driving. Then at that point, we'll kind of figure out the plan for this. This truck's gonna be sold. I say that now, but this, tr <laughs> this truck definitely has to be sold. I bought it with the intentions to fix it up, enjoy it a bit, and pass it on to someone else. Uh, it's kind of like a project with all the hard work done and a safety, which is our inspection thing here, which you need to drive on the road. Some extra cool bonuses that came with the truck, the original owner's manual, which I find super cool, just because, you know, it's vintage, and I really like square bodies, so a book about them, that's pretty amazing. Uh, <laughs> keys, which are also original GM keys, which me being a nerd, I really appreciate and enjoy and the glove box RPO code paper. You can see all the original options. This truck would have came with from the factory here. I like how it says cigar lighter specifically, not cigarette lighter. Uh, mandatory Canadian thing. Apparently that just means it has like kilometers on the speedo, etc. It has special paint, which really isn't that special. What I figured out was that the 4001, that just means special paint, the AB, and the AH after there. I'm not completely sure what that means. There is two letter codes like that for all the custom colors that they made the GM trucks in. So here's what was under that original seat cover. Someone pooped their pants there, but other than that, it's not in too bad of shape at all. It kind of looks cool. 
In the interior, I uh, vacuumed up a lot of hay. A lot of hay, a mouse nest about there. Clean the dash up, stuff. Gotta love the emblems. I like everything about these old trucks. Gauges. Just so much cooler than the shit they make these days. So that's where we're at. Oh, I almost forgot my sweet CB radio. <laughs>